This video is going to show you how to factor using the AC method. So remember we have all types of factoring. The first type we should always look for is GCF. If there's no GCF, you should be looking at how many terms there are. Right now I have a trinomial. I have three terms, 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. And since I have a number in front, that 4 is the coefficient in front of the x squared, I need to use the AC method. So that means I have to start by multiplying 4 and 15. 4 times 15 gives me 60, so I'm going to list out my factors of 60 so I have them. Remember the calculator trick, if you need to, you can go to y equals and type in 60 divided by x in order to get all of these factors. So when I'm factoring using this method, the 4x squared and the 15 get brought down. And that 16x is going to get broken into two pieces. So I'm going to list out two blank spaces. And I'm using my sign trick to find out that they're both positives. So now I'm looking for one of those factors of 60 that would give me 16. So 6 and 10 work because 6 plus 10 would give me 16. So I have a 10x and I have a 6x. Now that I have four terms, I'm going to factor by grouping. So the first two pieces, 4x squared and 10x, what do they have in common? I can take out a 2x from each piece, and I would be left with 2x plus 5. Then I do the same thing with the next two, 6x plus 15. They both have a 3 in common, so I can take out a positive 3, and I'm left with 2x plus 5. Now my parentheses match, which should always happen if you did it correctly. So that gets written once, 2x plus 5, and then the other two pieces go in a second parentheses, 2x plus 3. And that's how you factor a trinomial with a leading coefficient using the AC method. So I have one more example that I'll do with you. 2x squared minus x minus 10. So once again, I have a trinomial and I have a number in front without a GCF. So I start by 2 times 10. 2 times 10 gives me 20. So I'm going to list out the factors of 20. And once again, your two outside pieces are going to get brought down. So I'm going to bring down the 2x squared and that minus 10. And I'm going to split that negative x into two pieces. Using my sign trick, I know the first blank is going to be a negative and the second blank is going to be a positive because I bring down that negative in front of the x to get my first sign and then a negative times a negative because I have a negative 10 as well gives me a positive for my second sign. So I'm looking at the pairs that I've listed out, 1 and 20, 2 and 10, or 4 and 5 to see which one gives me a negative 1x. So I have 4 and 5. So the bigger number comes first, 5x. The smaller number comes second, 4x. Now, once you have four terms, you're going to factor by grouping. So 2x squared minus 5x has x in common. So I take out an x. I'm left with 2x minus 5. My next two pieces, 4x minus 10, they have a positive 2 in common. So I can take out a 2, and I'm left with 2x minus 5. So once again, my parentheses match, so I'm going to write that down. 2x minus 5 is one of my factors, and then the other factor is x plus 2. And there you go.